Here's another example. The limit as x approaches 9 of x minus 9 over the square root of x minus 3. And with just a little bit of thought, we can see that putting in a 9 here gives us a 0 numerator, and putting in a 9 there gives us a 3 minus 3 0 denominator. So we have 0 over 0. So when we have that, we want to try to simplify the expression such that it doesn't give us a 0 over 0, so that we can cancel out a factor that's causing us to have a 0. And when we have radicals like this, a good way to simplify the expression is using conjugates. Notice the radical down here, square root of x minus 3. I'm going to multiply this expression by the square root of x plus 3 over the square root of x plus 3. Now this fraction is equal to 1 because the top and the bottom are the same. So all I've done is multiply by 1. So I haven't changed this mathematically. But this will change the form. And I got this expression, square root of x plus 3, because it, it, it is the conjugate of this. And when we do this, we'll do a foil up top here and a foil on the bottom. So this will become the limit as x approaches 9. And up top we have, uh, let's leave it in factored form actually up top, x minus 9. We're not going to do a foil up there. But we will do a foil on the bottom. And when we do this, we have the square root of x times the square root of x. So that's x. And then we have the square root of x times 3 and the square root of x times minus 3. And those will cancel each other out. And then we have 3 times minus 3, which is a minus 9. And there we have it. A factor of x minus 9 cancels out. And so this is just equal to the limit as x approaches 9 of the square root of x plus 3. And that we can do. This is just the square root of 9, which is 3, plus 3. So 3 plus 3 is 6. And that's our answer. And again, the, the trick here was using the conjugate to simplify the radical expression. Here's another example. The limit as x approaches 25 of the square root of x minus 5 over 50 minus 2x. And once again, we have a 0 over 0. The square root of 25 minus 5, that gives us a 0 numerator. And 50 minus 2 times 25 gives us a 0 denominator. So we need to try to simplify this. And once again, we note the radical here. And so we'll take the conjugate of the radical expression, which will be the square root of x plus 5, and multiply the top and the bottom by that. So uh, using conjugates to simplify expressions works when your radical expression is in the, n the numerator as well. So what we'll do is do a FOIL up top and then multiply these down below. So this will give us the limit as x approaches 25. And up top we have the square root of x times the square root of x, which is just x. And then we have 5 times the square root of x and negative 5 times the square, square root of x. Those will cancel out. And then we have negative 5 times 5, which is negative 25. So the numerator simplifies to x minus 25. Then the denominator, uh, I'm going to leave this in factored form here. This will be 50 minus 2x times the square root of x plus 5. Now nothing cancels out, but notice that this factor right here, we've got a 50 and a 2. I can factor a 2 out of that. So let's do that. The limit is x approaches 25 of x minus 25 over 2 times 25 minus x. And then we still have this factor of the square root of x plus 5. Now this 25 minus x is the opposite of this x minus 25. So if, if I cancel those out, I'll end up with a factor of negative 1 up there. So this leaves me with the limit as x approaches 25 of negative 1 over this 2 times the square root of x plus 5. And then I can evaluate that. I'll have a negative 1 
over 2 times, and then this is the square root of 25, which is just 5, plus 5 is 10, so it's negative 1 over 2 times 10, or negative 1 /20th. And that's our answer.